Hi friends, welcome to Animate with Raja. Today I will show you how to make this Rapunzel character is an animatable rigged character. This tutorial take 3 to 4 hours time to complete. I know it's very boring to watch but you have to watch this tutorial till the end. If you watch the tutorial till the end means you can learn a lot more stuff about Animate CC software. If you don't have enough time to watch this tutorial means you can go to my description there you can see a link for this tutorial time lapse video you can go and watch that video if you can please do support me on patreon that will help me to do more animation stuff like this on my patreons got this original animation files so go to my description there you can find my patreon link do support me on patreon that will help me a lot okay now let's get into animation go to your animate cc and make a new document with 1920 into 1080 pixel okay make this as a new just drag and draw this picture you can get this picture on my description i'll leave the link in my description i just resize this I place this in center of this stage. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, now it's okay. Okay, now lock this layer. I okay. Rename this layer as a reference layer. Every time, don't forget to save your document. I go to file, save. Okay, don't save this means definitely lost yours i save as a pencil to 12 okay i make a new empty layer on the top of this layer i rename this layer as face okay go to reference layer and go to properties click alpha make this to 55 this means alpha means opacity okay it's very hard to draw in animate cc or the flash so i have some tricks to draw don't use your normal this brush to draw go to this paint brush tool shortcut is y select this tool and go to properties with select this with profile okay don't select this if you select this means this will give you a uniform line select this one okay stroke is one percentage which means stroke on okay now let's get started i start from here now after you draw this line you can go to selection tool and make this line whatever you want like this like this anything select the end of this line and go over it you can squash stretch this line okay now I'll delete this line make a new line now select paint rush i'm going to start drawing if you are going end of the line means you can stretch and squash if you are going the center of the line means you can resist this like this okay this is the very important thing if you are creating a proper trick Go to maximum zoom and this is the thing you need to know if you are drawing a line like this means if two line is crossing means you can delete the another line remaining part the wastage part you can call it anything here also you can delete so use this technique to make your character solid don't be afraid to go over your lines okay i can delete this wastage line 
or extra line delete it extra line Yes, we we'll go this side. I know this one will go very slowly, but watch it. Because when I was starting to animate, the time I searched for like this animation tutorial a lot but I don't even can find a single tutorial like this they are just creating many people is creating a small puppet trick but I don't like I need very complicated trick like this time check your lines check your drawing right or wrong okay delete the extra lines here also some extra lines so delete those Now we got our face. Okay. Later we will fill this color. Now we just work on line only. Okay. This is how we are creating rigs in studios also. I'm a 2D animator. I'm working in a studio. I make a lot of tricks. Now just lock this layer and make a new layer as nose. Okay. Now I am going to draw nose. Yes, don't forget to join your lines. She is having very funny nose. <laughs> you can see this cartoon series on YouTube. That more fluid. Why? Because they have created this animation by using. I make a new layer. I rename this as lips. Okay. I forgot to say that. They create this uh, animation character by using Toon Boom Harmony software. Why I'm not using means uh, here in my studio, my college, everybody told me to learn Toon Boom, but I don't like that software. I like a TV paint a lot, which means I like a frame by frame animation a lot. If you don't like this line means just delete it don't be afraid to 
delete your lines okay Now log this layer and make a new layer as I rename this as left I create everything individual. to check your character every time okay lock this layer and make a new layer rename this as i right i okay why this now lock this layer I'll make a new layer as I lash right I lash okay make a eyelash sorry this grows okay. hide this behind layer if you are feeling disturbed just hide this layer now yeah, no, it's cool lock this layer make a new layer rename this as a left eye flash okay and to the left eye flash and this behind layers Extra lines. Okay, just resize. save check your yeah now it's cool now we need to make a row lock this layer make a new layer rename this as left i rows just zoom Ok, 
them out. Delete, delete. In YouTube, you uh, definitely still you can't find like this detailed tutorial. So watch it slowly. Delete. If you want to watch frame by frame stuff, means go to R and Blast. It will tell you a lot, lot, lot more thing about frame by frame animation. I learned uh, frame by frame animation from his YouTube and from his website creatureartteacher.com. Now hide this behind layer. Yes, this comes very coolly. Now go to your face layer, lock this eyebrow layer, go to your face layer. Here, go to your reference layer and make this to alpha to 100%. In face layer, make line like this, hide behind the layers. Finally, I'll show you how to, why this layer, why I'm drawing this kind of thing. Here you can see some textures they have given for their character. I'm going to do this texture in this separate part okay all that we will do after completion of this character now it's okay I just resize the face a little bit Okay, now this. Now, put your reference layer. Alpha, set your alpha to 50 percentage. Now make a new layer. Rename this as front hair. You need to know this thing. They have split this character's hair into two parts. The back side hair is back hair. The front side they have split this pot as a front hair so if you zoom maximum you can see here they have split their character okay now let's do this why If you're feeling disturbed behind the layers, just hide the layer from eraser. So this will back alpha is a little bit up because I can't see too much details. Okay. Okay. 
draw this line very be very careful with your lines verbal lines makes your puppet is very verbal so be careful while making lines okay Draw the hair lines. Later we will draw this class. Okay. Now just join this. Because we can fill color in completed. Parts only, okay. If you are Cut okay. If you think if you make anything wrong inside it, just fill, go to your paint bucket tool and fill with this color. Oh, I never make any mistake. So, It feels very fluid. Just save your document. Now lock this front hair and we will draw this floor. Make a new layer as flower. Okay. Hide this behind layer. I like this flower a lot. Just adjust these lines to fit behind the flower. Okay, we will draw this to small rounds. Don't use shapes to draw. I am using Wacom tablet to draw. If you want to become an animator, I definitely suggest, suggest to buy Wacom. Don't buy anything else. Because Wacom is a greatest product I've ever seen. I use Huon Eyeball XP Pen, but Huon is a little bit doable. Wacom is very good, so buy Wacom. If 
if you have any doubts uh, please let me know in the comment section okay now you can see i hide this reference layer we got a ghost okay now we need to draw pupils Rename this layer as pupil. Okay, draw the pupil right here in the center. Hide the behind layers. Here you can use shape tool. If you need very solid line means you can use shapes. Okay. If you are hit, uh, I forgot to set this. Uh, I forgot to tell this. If you select your any object, if you press hold, press N, Alt, and just click drag, you can duplicate this item. Okay. Now just duplicate this paper. Right click to duplicate. Just right click on your layer and click duplicate layers. I rename this layer as white people. Right people. Okay. Now just try the people. now okay hit save don't forget to save your document i'm always having another hand in control yes okay i forgot to do another one thing go to face and draw a line like this because they have created a texture like this In the original image you can see a texture like this so go over the small details okay this is a very complicated character i have ever done now i'm going to create a body i'm going to check one second i have done all or not i have created Eyebrows, eyes, pupils, nose, texture, front hair, back hair. I need to do later. Okay. Now I'm going to do her neck. Okay. create a new layer rename this as neck okay lock the behind layers okay just slowly start drawing go to my patreon and please do support me that will help me to do a more ok 
Okay. Why I am creating this? I'll tell you later. But finally, you can see why I am creating this line also. Okay. So don't be confused. Why I am doing like this? I think I leave some gaps in somewhere. Okay. Now you can say this and make a new linear and rename this as body. Save it. Click Y. That is my brush tool. Go to reference layer and make this a little bit. So I will disturb this neck layer means just hide this and delete the extra lines. Okay, now draw this. I hope anyone watching this much time. Even I don't even got a single rupee from YouTube, but I like to share my works.
I don't got any revenue from YouTube. So if you can please do support me on Patreon. Okay. Now just hide the behind layer, the front layer, turn on all layers, and check how was your rig. Yeah, this looks very very cool. Now hide this behind layers. Okay, now why? I like this one, the paintbrush tool. I'm from a Frame different background. So at first, I'm very, very afraid to draw in flash. Now I'm using both a traditional medium for drawings, frame by frame stuff, or for in TV paint. Now I can handle any software. I'm not afraid. Even I'm using uh, for motion graphics, After Effects, I know After Effects too. Just draw these lines very carefully. Spend a lot, ton, lot more time in animation, then only you can get more fluid animation, more fluid tricks. So don't be afraid to spend your time in art. I like to spend my whole day in art because I like to be an artist being an artist I'm feeling very proud about myself even my father and mother also feeling very very proud about myself I was go to my mom and said I want to become an artist. They at first they won't said okay. Later they will know my test. From my childhood I was start drawing. Then they said okay. Go to Chennai. Chennai is a big city in our country. One of the big city. At the big city, one of the big city. I come to Chennai and studied animation. But they won't teach a lot. Uh, um, because I'm living in India. It's very hard to live in India. <laughs> what I It's a cool country for the uh, world people like my father, mother, not for youngsters. So it is a very hot country for youngsters. We have ancient tradition.
one day i'll come i'll go to every country in this world i like traveling i was born in a small small a rural village becoming an artist that is the biggest success in my whole life sometimes your lines will be hidden like this so don't be afraid just go to your another line you can fill inside of this box also so don't be afraid start trying and skip it over to another line okay Delete the extra lines. Just fill. Okay. Now these two lines is hidden. Okay. Just check. Okay. Now it comes very cold. Now we need to draw our Script. Script. Okay. I don't know the exact name. My name is Script. Now let's go and draw. just little bit leave this uh, script little bit squashed because I don't need this much script I just enough with this much this size script okay script Script. I don't know like the exact name of key. Yeah, I need to tell about my mother language. My mother language is Tamil. The first language, the ancient language in the world. If you can, please uh, go to Google and search about Tamil.
just draw like this okay now we got a script and in script This is going to be very detailing work. I need to draw this a little bit downside like this. Delete yeah. the extra lines. Don't delete the main line, okay? <laughs> I've done this many times, okay. Hit save. Now, just log this behind layer. And now, we are done. We are going in a hop way. We are done. 25 percent is of this week. Only 25. We need to do a lot more things. We need to do color. Okay, now we're gonna log this script layer. And now let's go and move to lake, make a new layer and rename this as lake to lake. Okay, and then hit save. Now Join this two lines with the line. Okay. Join this. Join that. And now I will draw the ground port of the lake.
will now draw a line like this because here is also we need to add some texture I'll show you where is the textures here you can see some textures okay now just duplicate this left click go to right click on the layer and hit duplicate layer and rename this as right click okay. just move this next and then right to here just place this like this I just squash this and let it go. save because if you don't save this means your file will getting lost sometimes and image is in some bugs so every time don't forget to save your document okay now I'm going to add her hands make a new layer but first I'm going to add a box here you can see a box the just um, add this as a separate one okay hide behind the layers hit control yes make this everything as a separate animation trick then only you can animate your character very fluidly. Okay, put this on. Draw this another line. Let me draw this one. We just okay. Control yes. Let's zoom a little bit more. Exact name of this thing, so we we'll call this as pops. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Because uh, um, sometimes I forgot to tell something, so mention that uh, time me in this video and ask me any question about this video. I'll always try to clear your doubts.
I'm always available. Mail to animatewithdilayraja at gmail.com. There also I'll clear your doubts. Okay. Now I make two buffs. Just and I add layers. Just enjoy the process. And now the red twig is comes to 30 percent. It's done. And lock the layer. From now, watch very carefully. From now, I'm going to make her hand so watch this very careful okay i make a new layer rename this layer as reference rounds i forgot it is okay now i'm going to add construction rounds okay i make a whole sheet and make it out and delete the fill okay now Place this round, just resize this round. copy that round I'll tell you already how to duplicate I'll tell you once again just hide the behind layer save copy this just the click select with your direct selection tool hold alt and click drag like this you can copy your rounds Now lock this layer and duplicate this layer. Hide this behind. Uh, hide the layer. Rename this layer is right upper hand. Okay. Now we have three circles because we have duplicated this previous layer. Unlock this layer and delete this hand down hand drawn because we don't need this down hand for to draw upper hand. Okay, 
just join to make this. And make a new line. Looks like this. Delete the remaining places. Delete, delete, okay. Now again turn on the reference rounds and duplicate this reference round and hide the right upper hand layer lock and in lock and hide okay now lock the reference layer and rename the we duplicate the reference layer from S lower right lower hand okay out and hand now we don't need this construction round so just delete this construction now we will draw the downside This line goes towards like this and connect with this circle. Now we need to draw the another line. This comes very curvy. Okay. Now, again, have this right hand and duplicate your reference round, right click, duplicate layers, and hide the reference round and now you duplicate you got a duplicate layer and rename this as right and okay now we are just going to be with our hand so you don't need these two construction rounds
Now, just on my detail, just on the reference round, move it to your now. We got a hand, just duplicate this three hand layers. Uh, just hit. select the layers and hit right click, duplicate. Now, rename this as. Left hand left hand left left now let's say and select those layers and select these three keyframes and Right click, go to transform and click fit horizontally. Just drag this hand to here. Just Now we got almost done. Okay, we need to still we need to draw her back hair only. So make a new layer as back hair. Hide all layers. Just turn on front hair layer only. message okay now just we are going to draw back here in a new empty layer start my drawing okay Everything is separated. That means everything you can move, stretch, squash, and do anything. Always don't forget to save. Okay. I like to draw. I like to draw a lot and save a lot too. I'm always saving my document because I have previous experience. I have lost my document while drawing. Why? Because I forgot to save. Anything can happen while you're drawing in anime CC because a lot of bugs are inside this paid software. If 
you have any bugs you can tell them to tell them to clear they will definitely refund response for your bugs okay don't think animate to see as a small software it's a huge 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 software people are think like yeah uh, animate cc this is the very funny software <laughs> even my colleagues are so they don't know animate cc but we need to make think like this software as a simple software this is like uh, after it's going to be in the future of animation but they're just uh, small kids in animation so they don't know animates is a uh, king of animation never ever after it's going to be a 2d animation software that's just a motion graphic software and i hate after effects because i spend too much time in animate cc that's why i hate after effects we got any work means uh, my colleagues have said i'll do this in after effects i just simply said uh, i'll do this in animate cc or tv paint i like tv paint a lot that's a frame by frame software go and visit at tvpaint.com lot of uh, artists are using tv paint it's a wonderful software i have a person i like tv paint more than animate cc they give tons and tons of brushes for you you can customize many brushes okay so go visit tvpaint.com Also, some red bars that is behind her, her sorry, behind her body. So, I just imagine where is the red bars going to be placed like this? The top are placed. I'm just imagining. I like to draw from my imagination because it's very too easy to draw from your imagination. Some people think that's very hard to draw, but it's very easy to draw from imagination. It's safe. Fine. And draw this, draw this line, this line. Just art copy, resize. This is always your drawing in animated. 
copy paste resize draw I think I need to push this a little bit like this because it seems to look like very small. Rapunzel had is so big. She has a huge heart. Okay. She, actually, she, not he, right? I like Rapunzel. After watching Time Loop movie, I try to stop lying. That much I like uh, Rapunzel movie. I mean, Time Loop. I like every Disney movie because of their hard work. And I like to watch also a lot of Studio Ghibli movies. Japanese animators are uh, the extreme animators. Then Disney. They will do every scene, very complicated scene also, very fluidly. So I like Japanese animation a lot. And save. Now we need to draw the remaining hair. This hair comes like this. Okay. Almost we are done with line. I need to do one last thing, but I'll do that lastly. Okay. Draw the remaining lines. Zoom.
Now we got everything just I need to check check with my complete tree. I'll show you how are the complete tree. I have already done a tree, a tree for with this character. I'll go to open open something. This okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty seven individual parts. And that all rig in my new rig 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 23, 26. The one the one, what is the thing that's missing? Later, we will find it. Now we will go to paint just close this and go to file new. Why I'm making a new document is I will pick the color from this picture, okay. I'll make a new document and play this picture in my new animation and from that I'm going to pick my colors okay hit create just Drag and drop your photo on it. I need to take some water. Yeah, just a minute. Thank you for watching this much time. Okay, now we need to select colors here you can see the one side of this purple skirt is one side is a little bit desaturated on one side is fully saturated so we need to use gradients I'll show you how to use gradients it's hard to use gradients in animate CC so watch this very carefully okay Now, go to your script, unlock this layer. Okay, now, pick this bottom of the skirt and now we need to know how to apply gradient colors select the linear color and copy the value of this color okay just control C Go to your document. Okay, fill this with any color and select this fill and go to color. And here you can see a drop down box 
select as a linear gradient okay now just press this value here then go to here copy the value and come here again this is how you need to apply gradient in animate cc i know it's very hard but what you have to do just apply it okay and now we got good you will erase later we will erase this construction lines okay go to body now we will color body body is going to be easy the color just fill with the color again pick the color make this full make this full just turn off remaining layers okay around it with the color okay i do tons and tons of mistakes not in line work in coloring it's hard to understand how about color but i like that I'll, i i said this as a love of paints okay zoom pick actual color and the construction line i study the character a lot that's what i can do very solidly and i have then another summary of this character control s okay now we will go to next then on the reference layer make is also towards here she is having some texture so separate this with this okay now i will tell you why i am separating shapes like this select the color fill on the color actually fill now this color and fill now i'll show you how to apply this kind of gradient look that's why i'm separating like this here only you need gradient not towards to this shape so i'm separating here here only i'm going to apply gradient select the strong color and copy the color and select this color go to linear gradient here with the value of this color okay here select this color now to flip this now the gradient is applied wrong we need this dark color 
upside this light color downside okay so select this fill and in the free transform tool hold long click and here in the drop down you can see gradient transform tool select the gradient transform tool and just move this with this rotation tool now you can move your gradient whatever you want wherever you want okay now we got nice cool texture save now we will go to this is how we are then our coloring I'll do this very fastly okay just watch it now we'll do color for our face like this or the color and fill the color now for face only okay fill the color and once again do like that apply this and get this once again select the color from dark place copy the value and come here select this and apply color as linear gradient okay just we need to switch go to gradient transform tool transform the gradient into like this just resize it okay now we will erase this line Now here also we need to apply like that texture. So just hit K and select this fill and select with the once again give this as the linear gradient and Use gradient transform tool. Color in solid color, linear gradient. Okay. Control yes. Okay, now we will color the nose. Just hide this face layer and pick the color from original picture. Lips, we need to the color for lips per lips so is one color 
down let me see another color so be careful while applying colors for lips and she have a small round also in her lips fill that round with white color Just turn on left and right eye, fill this with white color and go to left eye, white, right eye, view white, okay, now lock, hide, I'm going to add eyelash, pick the colors and unlock these two layers and give the colors just delete the construction lines if you double click on the lines means the lines only be selected just hit delete okay now oh this is the click i, I missed this um, I don't separate these two eyebrows. I just have done this in one layer. It's just when I need to clip this, just right click, duplicate layer, and rename this as white, right the eyebrow. I just Okay, now we have trying to eyebrow. Select the eyebrow color and apply. Delete the construction lines. We need to apply color for front hair and lines also. We need to color. We can't color. Go to here. You can see an option. Select this. Click on close small gaps. Okay. Now we can see color. Now we change to don't close gaps. Okay. So I select the color. Okay. Now, now I need to change my line colors and some lines too. This line. Oh, it's okay. Just to delete this construction lines also. To change your line colors, go to ink bottle tool and select this line color and fill with this. I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I wrongly tell the ink bottle too. I don't know. Oh, 
for a long period of time. Oh, I need to change the fill color, okay. Sorry. Now go to your link portal tool. Just apply the color. Okay, now we will go to back hair. This is the back hair. Fill all line with I just select this whole keyframe and select this color so everything is changed. Now select the back hair color and just fill. Select this. Now let's unlock all layers. I mean, none high. Just move the hair back side, move the face front. to add colors to pupils my system is uh, going to very slow because of this is a very complicated character getting very slow okay. I need to charge my laptop because battery is very low wait here I'll be back in five minutes Now I plug charge. Now let's get into and the people's left people, right people. Okay. In color from actual picture. Now we will erase this construction lines.
that I will tell you how to clipping mask this. Okay, until I need to make her this eyelash a little bit bigger because I have some negative space right here. Yeah, no, it's okay. Put her nose, lips, upside. Face and get a body behind the face. And neck and so now we got it. I need to do a little bit down this eye, left eye, because she's looking I'm sorry, people, left people, because looks like she's looking upside. Oh no, it's okay. Just fix it. We will color this floss. That will make her look. I need to replace the size because it looks like a devil go to pupils like people and people no. I need to squash this a little bit. Go to lips. I need to correct the lips. Just delete construction lines. Now, what are the too many things? We have not done. Yeah, we need to color her hand only. So just zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Later we will erase this constructions. Okay. And left flip up, right cross. Yeah, 
fill those big gaps with purple color. I like to hear a stance while animating, but I know I'm not doing animation to terrain, that's why I'm not hear any sound okay. I don't think you know Ditcher William says uh, if you are not hearing any songs uh, you can get um, more fluid animation poor lecture videos <laughs> but I like him a lot I study a lot from his book animator survival kit it's a wonderful book for every animators if you can go and buy this book on Amazon or anywhere I don't like hands here we need to add texture go to color Go to linear gradient. Okay, this is applied. Why? Because we have already applied. Go to gradient transform tool and transform the gradient like this. Just delete the construction now. Okay, now it's okay. Unlock this layers, unlock this layers, select. Now here also we need to apply gradient. Linear gradient, gradient transform tool. Transform like this. Delete the remaining. Now we got everything. And finally, we need to color for our lake only. Go to that little right click and lock that. Let's pick the color from there. Here also we need to add gradient color, linear gradient, then gradient transform tool. the construction once again select this color linear gradient okay now we need to Erase the construction lines because uh, here you can see she don't have a uh, lot of strokes, so we need to erase all of our construction lines. We just leave the sum line only. So start from hand. Leave this four lines, okay. Just watch the picture. She's having the 
these four lines, okay? Change this uh, stroke colors also to like this color, okay? Let's see. And the top construction lines. The construction lines. Let's say how oh, we'll come to right hand. Don't delete the arm. It's it. I'll take this behind to the body. this layers go to background here also we need to erase some of the outside lines watch this character very carefully where we need lines where we don't need lines just delete the amount of lines okay the outside she don't have lines so to leave those lines Uh, I will make uh, soon. I will make another tutorial to how I'll show, and in the tutorial I'll show you how to animate her by using this puppet. Okay. Until wait and watch. Okay. Go to face and face also. We need to erase the construction lines. Delete mouse. Everywhere we have construction lines. Construction is everything, right? Already erased. I here you can see in I she have downside black so it is upside only and right there also now this is connected very strongly immediate we 
delete. Let's clock my mind. Okay, now right and dash, under the delete that, delete that, right and group, delete that, delete that, and yes. On planter, we need to delete something. Already delete that. On flowers, we need to delete construction lines. Pupils already have deleted. It's good. We need to delete. Make do mix. Here you can see she having these two lines. So I'll leave the two lines and delete the remaining. Okay. We are almost done. Very good. Yes, we are done with all of the things. Now we need to arrange. Oh, still I forgot to. Here is strokes for neck. Body, body of swine there is. I forgot too many things. Right. Okay. Now we will this back. Now move on. Good. Close the back side of the body. Okay, move this two hands behind the body. Move our body, strong legs. Okay. Right props, left props. Move this behind the body. Make this on the in front of the body. Okay, I need to. Just research this. Resources if you can because I've done this thing very wrongly, but don't matter. Zoom a little bit.
right side box, I need to resize that a little bit. I'm sorry, left side. Now we got this animatable character. We can animate this character. On my next video, I will tell you how to animate by using this character. Okay. Until the next time, I want to say bye bye. Please do support me. Oh, I will say bye bye with this girl. Okay. I'll show you how, uh, how I make bye bye. Until the next time, I will say bye bye for this tutorial. Like this, bye bye, goodbye. I will see you next time. Okay, wait for the other tutorial. And on the tutorial, I will show you how to make this as a symbol and how to animate this character. Okay. And do support me on Patreon. And if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. Bye.